Well, here I finally am in Dartmoor, England. You see, Diana sent me out here today to deal with these two delightful chaps right here. One by the name of Poindexter, a globally renowned Michelin star chef, and this is his undead imaginary friend Klaus. Now, according to Diana, it seems that these two have been running a bit of a sus online food delivery service with ingredients that can only be described as questionable at best. And it's our job to take them down and give them a taste of their own medicine. Very nice, I like. And now that I've got my ridiculous introduction out of the way, it's time to sneak my way into Dartmoor Manor. Now, what I'd like to say right off the bat is that this time around, I have a very, very clear plan inside of my head and a very, very heavy brick for the side of yours. <laughs> didn't even notice. <laughs> oh, goodness. So now that I've got that out of my system, I think from this point forward, I'm going to be a little bit more careful. Because truth be told, I completely forgot that this is an elusive bush. <laughs> my only weakness. How did you... Oop. As I was saying, I completely forgot that this is an elusive target mission, and, well, if I stuff up, I stuff up. I'm going to have to be an extra tactical testicle, ensuring that I don't get spotted. And I'm going to grab this newspaper, so I've got something to read on my ride back to ICA HQ after I finish today's mission. And if I'm not mistaken, there should be a little bit of a medic rat poison right here on top of this oil drum, oh baby. Anyway, I'm going to sneak past these people right here, loop around these logs, and then I'm going to climb up this ladder. Now, I don't want to surprise anyone, I don't want to shock anyone. But I gotta tell you something. Hey, can you stop trying to tell him something? <clears throat> I don't want to surprise anyone. I don't want to shock anyone, but I'm, go I'm going to. According to Diana, it seems like Kevin, I mean Klaus, the, <laughs> the undead zombie, is preparing um, dead... Uh, What's that guy, dead guy called? Hold on, I'm pretty sure this is... It. Yeah, Zachary. Dead Zachary. They're preparing dead Zachary for delivery. Oh, sus, bro. When I said that they got pretty questionable ingredients. This is what I was talking about. That is Robert Burke. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Don't be fooled by his appearance. <laughs> is there any way that anyone could look at this guy and think anything But This guy obviously huffed a little bit too much for maldehyde as a child. Anyway, with all these security guns around, it looks like I'm going to have a little bit more of a difficult... Oh, he just touched his face and licked his finger. Oh, <laughs> sus. Now, whilst that was a little bit of an inconvenience, all it means is that we're going to need to head inside and pay a visit to Poindexter before we deal with Klaus the zombie. And if I'm not mistaken, Poindexter should probably be somewhere here in the main hall uh, giving uh, samples to Gregory. He's try trying to get Gregory to sign up to the <laughs> to the dead person food delivery service. Anyway, Poindexter should pro- oh. How peculiar. I was pretty sure that he was going to be in the living room where Gregory's always sitting on that couch, which means that if he's not there, well, the only other place that he could logically be is inside of the kit. Where's the kitchen? That right, hold on, here he is. Here, shut up, Diana. I know, Diana. Yeah, shut up. Oh, Diana, you always start yabbering around. Oh, dollar sick. So now that Diana's shut her cake hole, I'm going to very stealthily close this door and this lady's not even going to notice. And just to ensure that she doesn't turn around at an inconvenient time, I'm going to give her an apple a day, which keeps... <laughs> And with that taken care of, I'm very- Oh my god, Mr. Rowe, you Danes really know your craft. Um, I'll let you decide if we should have your special cuts at it. How delicious! Oh, Gregory, do you know what you're eating? Gregory, no! Greg- Oh, Gregory. <laughs> Gregory, it's gonna be Zachary. What's with all these stupid names that end with Y? All right, here he comes now, probably heading back into the kitchen to pick up some more delicious food for Gregory's lunch. Which means that it's time for me to sneak my way into the staff room and- Observe through this window. That face, that face. He's sus as, man. Look. So sus looking at the organic fruit and vegetables and pretend. Ooh. <laughs> He's sitting down to eat some of them. <laughs> oh, gosh. Cooked himself up a couple of fingers and decided to sit down for a snack. Actually, this gives me an idea. I can get rid of that guy right there. That means I have free access to his plate. And of course, the emetic rat poison that I picked up outside. But this also just reminded me that I forgot to talk about the cheeky cheeky toys that I brought with me today to help me get the job done. I've got my ICA-19 Full Auto Stealth Ducky Edition, a remote Semtex Demolition Block, a remote Semtex Demolition Block MK2, and then, because I'm a massive dum dum head and completely forgot, over in this toilet right here, I've got myself uh, a bar of soap. <laughs> so I can just... Drop it on the floor. Ah, oh, yes, this is what I came for. Remote Semtex Demolition Block MK3. Old oh, die, die, you know me too well. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to hide it in my crotch. <laughs> You're so stealthy, 47. All right, what do we got lying around Gatsby's office that we can use to whack out two dudes? Ah, <laughs> yes, golf club. My favorite. Oh, hold on. I, I think I've I think I got a better idea. I'm just going to throw the golf club right there, and then this guy's going to come to investigate it, isn't he? And when he does, I'm going to give him the old baseball in the back of the head trick, and I'm going to be like, ha, 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 don't bring a golf club to a baseball game. <laughs> now I'm going to borrow this man's delightful waiter outfit, and then uh, look at me. I'm a 
delightful waiter. A delightful waiter who's going to sneak his way into the kitchen and then poison, um, what's his name? Poindexter's. Oh. But that's fine, because over here on the shelf, it looks like they've got two bags of Cookies! Oh, sorry, sorry, just... You know, I have a tendency to get a little bit excited. Gotta give this guy credit though. He uh he's obviously she quite a good didn't waste this. It's too good. Uh okay. Anyway, I was gonna say a pretty good chef if he's able to make um Zachary look like a slab of salmon. That's impressive, mate. Now because I'm a true master, I'm going to poison this guy's food directly in front of him. Observe. <laughs> he's the chef and he lets some random butler go and pour poison into his food. Oh, mate. You know, I was thinking, Poindexter, you said it was going to be a waste, and I, I agree. So I think you should sit down, and you should just get right up into it. As they say in the France, bon appetit. Very nice. You like? Yes. I'm so, so sorry. So I really need to... <laughs> voice changed. Wasn't he American a second ago? Should I call an ambulance? No, no, no. He's fine. It's just rat poison. He'll be you know, you feel free to sit down and eat the rest of it. But this is a message from Diana. She wanted to say that you are a dirty, dirty man and you need to drink all of the water in the toilet. That's right, you filthy man. You drink it all up. You drink it all up real good. Ha 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 ha. your intensifies. <sighs> Gregory's going to be disappointed. He was what? Pack of cigarettes. Target what down. One more to go. Yeah, thanks, Diana. I, I know what happens when you subtract one from two. As I was saying, Gregory's going to be devastated when his afternoon, <laughs> his afternoon snack doesn't come out. Hey, lady. Huh? I dropped the soap. Excuse me, I think you've dropped something. <laughs> it was soap. Is there something meant to happen now? Anyway, now that that's been taken care of, it's time to head upstairs to Zachary's bedroom. What's up, boys? He's going to Zachary's bedroom. Oh, this guy knows I'm sus. And so does this guy. I wonder if these guys... Oh, he does too. Well, then it looks like the only way I'm going to get into Zachary's bedroom undetected is with the secret stick in the hole trick. The only problem is I don't have the secret stick. But if I'm not mistaken, isn't it inside of... Oh. Oh. This is awkward very awkward. <laughs> this is super awkward. Sir. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no. Now just to tidy up a little bit, I mean that. That is, after all, my job. I am but a humble butler employed by, <laughs> by the madame of this manor to keep the place clean. Hold on, I'm just gonna sweep up all of this crack cocaine -ness with your lovely outfit. And now that I've got myself the secret stick, I should be able to stuff it right into this hole right here and open sesame. <laughs> Going on everybody, I'm watching you. You can't see me. I think you should totally come in here, security guard. Oh, come the f on. That is very rude, how dare you? How dare you? This is family friendly content. And now to lure the other security guard inside. Oh no, this guy's coming in, oh dear. Just don't look this way. Just don't look this way. I'm gonna close that door. All right, mate. Sorry, you're just gonna have to get the old knuckle sandwich, and you just shut up. Shut up. And you. Oh, mate. Targets eliminated. No. Your money is being transferred now. No. Oh, you're flipping kidding me. Oh, what a lot of bollocks. Oh, I hate this game. So obviously I didn't get to use my three blocks of Semtex, but I'm not going to leave without using them. After all, that is the only reason that I agreed to come here. Don't worry, Klaus. We came here with a mission and we're still going to complete it. Actually, <laughs> I think I've got, I think I've got a pretty decent all right idea. Oh my. <laughs> oh gosh. Now to lure in another couple of dudes. Uh, no, that's my dollar. How dare you? Uh oh, I, I've been, I've been spotted. All right, well, that's fine. That's okay. It's no big deal. It's fine. Uh, excuse me, sir, but I, I can see you. I, I have superpowers. X-ray vision, actually. Ah, ah, I'm getting shot at. What the frick? Oh, crikey. I'm going to fail this crap. Oh, my. Oh! All right, so admittedly, I'm not particularly thrilled with how that elusive target ended up, which is why I've decided to seek revenge on the entirety of, what's this place called? Thorn, Thorn... Thorny, thorn, thorny mansion. So I've gone and brought some of the staff down here for a, for a meeting, but there's one person that's missing, and that's obviously the owner of this mansion, the person responsible for that extremely inhospitable treatment of their, <laughs> their very important guest. So I'm just going to have to run upstairs really quickly. Excuse me, come back here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, come on. <laughs> How efficient is this guy? <laughs> oh, come on, mate. Well, there's nothing I can do about that one. But what I will do is hop back here into the bathroom window, grab the Semtex demolition block all over again, and uh, now it's time to make big, big a boom. So I'll place one right there, and one right there, and another one right there. All right, well, I think it's ready. Now all that's left to do is stand up, walk out of this ginormous pile, crack out the old... No, wrong thing. Crack out the old detonator, and, uh, well, I guess... Uh, Time to finish this elusive target the correct way. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> he disappeared right in the lake. And on that note, <clears throat> it feels good to have finished this mission properly. Oh, I can't leave because I haven't actually done the the regular mission. Well, I can't be bothered doing All right, see you later, Dartmoor. It's been real. Um... <laughs> Nothing but a flesh wound.